What's going on YouTube? Graves in the here and welcome back to part 15 of our campus challenge series. As you already know, this series is sponsored by Paradox Interactive, who will at the end of the series provide six geese for me to give out to you guys and we'll do a drawing. So make sure you like the video, comment down below and let me know which DLC you are missing. Make sure you specify also what platform you are on. So it's been a it's been a couple of days since I've uploaded a video. I uh, I did lose my voice there for for a, for a quick minute, but it's it's coming back slowly but surely to where I think I have enough to do a whole episode. So let's let's hope that uh, it doesn't go away in this one. I have been busy though. I I haven't just sat back and done nothing. So actually, let's start just right kind of in this area over here. I did a little bit of uh, decor, trees, foliage and whatnot going uh, going around, create an additional area over here. No idea yet what we're going to zone. I went ahead and filled in uh, trees and foliage going out this way, did a little bit of zoning as well on the outskirts. So here you can see the High-tech buildings coming in. And pretty much just went around and filled in everything with uh, with more trees. I did kind of complete out the uh, the design over here on, on this side. So if you guys recall, this whole thing over here was pretty blank. Added a, uh, a metro stop over here along with, uh, with one more right over here and connected them both to the mass transit hub over here. And my battery has died on my controller. Let me fix this. And I love it when that happens. But yeah, I went ahead and I connected the uh, the metro line over here and wowza, look at the amount of folks that are using this little hub that we have created over here. Man, that's crazy. By the way, it is uh, the weekend after Thanksgiving. It's actually Black Friday today when I'm recording this episode. So hopefully those of you guys who celebrate Thanksgiving have uh, have had a great Thanksgiving and maybe got some deals sealed in and, and locked in today for the Black Friday sale. I'm coming over here on, on this end, so I did a little bit more of uh, just simple simple design. These are the basic services over here. So we have the hospital, police, and fire, uh, a couple of parks. Some of these are um, the modern city center buildings. Over here, though, I, uh, I made a, a nice little corner. This is, uh, this is where we have all of the museums that come with the, the campus and DLC. So you can come over here and check out all of our um, academic works that have been won, I guess, or achieved through all of our um, all the years in all separate campuses. Uh, over here, we have two stadiums. We have the American Football Stadium, and we have the um, the baseball field as well. And these two are a part of our biggest campus in this city yet. So, ladies and gents, this is the Vinuer Citatis University. And it all starts over here. So I, because I, I didn't, uh, I didn't record any, I didn't want to waste too much time by not doing any, any progress in the series so i went and, and designed this whole thing across all of the islands and then some out this way but let's start uh, let's start over here so you guys can get kind of caught up we have the uh, the main building here we do have a metro that'll bring folks all the way out this way and then i did something a little bit creative and i uh i created this um oh, what is this the, the commencement office or whatever it is right inside of the old ruins. So I thought that was a uh, that was pretty cool. 
Then um, <clears throat> you take the pathway coming all the way down this way and you can kind of uh, split off. If you go out this way, you go there, but then on this side, you go down this way or out into this other island. Let's start over here. This is the uh, the medical building, I believe. Actually, let's... School of Medicine. School of Medicine. So we'll take a look at this one first. This one is... Come on. There we go. School of Medicine. Let's take a look at the, uh, the benefits and the bonuses to this one. So... Um, Faculty prepares interns to help out at the local clinics and hospitals, allowing city healthcare to run more efficiently with increased ambulance count and patient capacity. Faculty increases campus attractiveness. Uh, so taking a look at that now, if we come over here and say, for example, grab a hospital, which we have right here, you can see that we have 595 patients available whereas um, I believe when you go and you try to put one in capacity yes it is 500 so we've gained an additional 95 spots and then okay so we'll we have that in there just a couple of parks and a couple of additional buildings, part of the uh, the university um, campus. So a couple more there, a little bit of the core. I tried to leave all of the old ruins and whatnot in, in place without really destroying any of them, but I do have the pathways leading up to them in, in case anyone wants to go out and, and check them out. Uh, come on, uh, coming over here to this side, we have the school of law so if we take a look at the school of law we have students get internships in the office of the city's prosecutor providing legal counsel to citizens crime rate and police department upkeep is reduced throughout the city that's cool so crime rate and police department upkeep is reduced throughout the city so if we take a look at, say, this police headquarters over here, the upkeep is supposed to be 1600 per week, but this should have lowered it down to, wow, 896 per week. That's half, almost. That's really good. I didn't know it had that big of a, uh, a benefit. And then over here, we have the last one, which is the School of Science. School of Science is this one right over here. Also the most expensive one looks like. New technologies allow us to gain an edge in the highly competitive marketplace. Income from all specialized industries is increased while reducing city pollution and electricity consumption. Pretty cool. I don't really know how to... Uh, show that one off so let's hope it's it's working and then a couple of more uh buildings pertaining to the university campus there what i did up here is kind of cool I, I made a lake that turns it and that turns itself into a waterfall and then comes down this way and has a couple of a couple of exit points um to the left and, and to the right of course and uh, I don't think this is providing enough power. So I think we should add one more. Two, seven, zero, let's see. I thought I saw seven. Oh, that's seven up there. Okay, what? eight right here we get eight okay so we'll put it uh, we'll put it right there yeah that makes sense because the water is is coming uh, coming through there so we should get the power transferred everywhere yep okay so we're we're good to go there but that's that's kind of what what we have here for the um venue where is it venue university coming 
over on on this side so um there there you have it so we have we have just a limited amount of room to to build and zone more so that's this part over here and then zoning we'll take care of on on this side um i do have i do have some pre-zoned stuff already so i have some commercial some offices a lot of uh, a lot of uh tourism over here which we'll see if it comes through it actually looks looks like yeah it's coming through already i did a couple of uh, uh pathways underground and they're kind of connecting to the uh um monorail station some offices over here on this side i went ahead and zoned everything in the north american high density residential to kind of try and mediate that uh that demand that we've had for uh for for a while now it looks like it has gone down and then lastly let me update you on the campuses that we have so we have the empire trade school that's doing very well we have 2026 students currently attending here this one went down just by a little bit and i think we might lose this the um the prestigious level on this one so what i'm going to do is kind of maybe try and incentivize these folks from from for coming into this particular um campus is where we're going to give them free student health care and we're also going to make this a free education here and hell let's give them visiting scholars as well because i really don't want to lose that prestigious um, level on on this one. So we'll give them everything they want, and then hopefully more students will attend this university here. And then this one, we're currently at uh, one star. Uh, we have actually let's let's go with free um, education over here as well. But we have uh, we have everything unlocked. I actually already started the uh, the academic work for this one, which is the grant for discovery. Let's give them some academic staff as well, and we'll go we'll go with twenty on this one. Why not? Uh, varsity sports. We do have two teams here, so we have uh, the the American football and the baseball field there. Uh, oh, by the way, I do have a. Uh, <clears throat> a metro stop over here as well I'm gonna try and put uh, put everything together and we need a couple more buildings to to come in right here so we we get the power to transfer <clears throat> over here to uh to this side and then hopefully it'll get power to the um uh, the metro as well I almost want to do it. I almost want to connect it. Let's do it. We'll get rid of it later if... Um, I just don't want to lose all these buildings that have already, already come in. Yeah, I'm thinking over here on this side, we do maybe uh, low-density student housing. That might entice some more students to come attend this uh, this school over here. Actually, you know what? Since since where do we go? This right here is is pretty close to this campus here, which needs more students. Maybe we uh, we turn this part over here into student uh, student housing as well. Let's do that real quick. And we'll we'll do that right there. We'll make sure that we <clears throat> that we select. Let's go over here. I believe yes, university city is is what we need here. And then we'll go and we'll zone just this part right here. See if anything comes in in the in the near future. And then what we can do is we can we can run a pathway let's 
say from here. To there. There we go. Something goes something like that, maybe. We'll see how that uh, how that works. By the way, this uh, this section or these two sections over here are connected to this part and this part of the city. I didn't want to add any any more interruptions into the highway connection that we have going on uh, going on here. So hopefully that'll work out for us. And then we do have to do a little bit more decor once everything zones in there. I did a. Uh, I did actually, yeah. Uh, I zoned everything over here with, with the residential as well. So we'll kind of keep an eye on that. And um, the airport's doing pretty good too. Look how low that it, uh, that air, uh, airplane flew coming in from uh, from this side. It's been a while actually since I checked on it. Let's, uh, let's see. Only 118 people serviced. <clears throat> Uh, and then before the series is over, we also have to connect this uh, this to this highway over here. I'll make sure we don't forget uh, forget about that. But this at this point, what I'm really just waiting for is is trying to get this university up to level four while keeping uh, these two campuses, this one and and this one over here, at uh, at level five. So that's uh, that's the the end game there, folks. Is keeping these two at five and getting this one to five as well. And I think the winning condition here is even if it's good for one day, one in-game day, I think we will have won. So we'll uh, we'll hope for the best here and uh, kind of see where that all takes us. Okay, so I've let the game run until uh, the next academic year. And uh, let's take a look at all three of the campuses. So the first one is the newest one, the Vinuer Citadis University. And uh, we've gained 1,143 students along with uh, three academic works. I'm afraid to, uh, to go into these other two but uh, let's check it out empire trade school we have lost 405 students but still at the um, prestigious level this one actually we went up to recognized uh, prestigious still at the empire trade school and then thornton international college we have gone down one to the acclaimed level previous year was the prestigious and we lost 323 students although gained some attractiveness as well as four academic works so and there you have it we're, we're losing folks in this one over here and this one over here at this current time um, but gaining over here in uh, in this one so We'll kind of keep an eye on it and uh, and see where it takes us. Now we do have additional demand for commercial as well as residential. So let's go ahead and we'll zone um, we'll zone this whole block over here with a residential. Over here we're going to add some commercial there and there. I think that should be just a okay. Maybe a little bit over here too. And we'll start residential over here on this side as well. Kind of let it uh, let it grow in. Traffic-wise, we're at 89%, still good considering we have 76,000 in population. And uh, check it out these metros are now working and pretty darn popular too. 240 folks, and looks like most of them are coming this way too get into this side of the city. Now let's actually go and uh, and start additional academic works. On this one, we'll go with the scientific study and we'll give them the, uh, the grant for that. On this one over here, the trade school, we'll go with uh, 
Let's go IT and engineering again. I, I quite like these. And over here, we're going to go with, uh, let's see. We have cinematography, literature, also IT and uh, engineering on this one. Let's go with the literature. I don't think we've done enough of that. And you know what? Since this one is the one that's hurting the most, let's go and crank up the academic staff all the way up in hopes to get uh, get our 1800 students back on uh, back on track. And while all of that is uh, is coming along, I'll put the game on three speed. Let's go ahead and kind of start on on this area over here. If you guys recall in the previous episode, what or not previous episode, a couple of episodes ago, what I wanted to do because we built uh, where where is it where is it? Actually, I don't think we built a uh, a decent sized city park yet in in this episode. So that's that's something that I want to do over here. And the reason I want to do the city park is because I wanted to use. Um, let's go ahead and pull them up over here. It's some of the last ones, I believe. It's these um, these park piers. So these ones that kind of hang out on uh, on the on water. And we have two of them in this particular one. So we'll we'll do a little city park kind of over here. And then here, we're going to do a little bit of a leisure to come and kind of bring the whole area together. So actually, let's let's go ahead and start with uh, with a leisure first. Kind of come down. Come down to about here. Hopefully it doesn't look all weird once we <clears throat> get to uh, get to zoning. So we'll have leisure all the way to about there. Here we're gonna go with a straight road up the hill, and then here is where we're gonna start that little city park. And I'm thinking, no, oh, that's not too high. We'll we'll kind of leave it to leave it like so. So let's go into City Park. We'll mark this area right over here. That should give us uh, give us enough. And let's go ahead and get a main gate going. Oh, there we go. It'll. It's kind of weird, right there. Let's not do that. Let's do a smaller gate then. Small park. A small. Park main gate. How about? It's not as bad. It's going to be a smaller park. We'll we'll use the uh, the small the small gate there. Let's go with some of these regular pathways. We'll come out to there. We'll kind of come down this way maybe, and maybe we have it end right over uh, over here. I want to bring out the. The floating, uh, floating little buildings first, and see if we can get one going there. And that's too far, so we'll rework this connection right over here. But while I'm at it, I'm gonna add a couple of them. I may end up uh, doing a little bit more, more of a unique design, say, over here on on this side in, in the near future. Okay, so we'll start kind of right Okay, so that's too close. Okay, let's see. So we're good on all of these. Okay, we're, we're connected at the very least. We'll put the connection right there. Temporary power. We're going to use one of these ones so right over here just to kind of, yeah, give it that, uh, that little bit of power there. Anytime now. There we go. 
Perfect. All right. And then... <clears throat> Then we'll come and just kind of plop some buildings here and there. And, and that looks way weird right in there. So we'll put one, put one there. Okay, so a couple of those should uh, should work. We're going to get a uh, park cafe going somewhere. Actually, let's go, let's go see what it's going to look like over here. Uh, no, that's going to be a challenging area right there. If we put it right on this side, so a little bit, a little bit better. I think we'll we'll keep it there for now. Uh, restrooms, we can put those right there on the corner. We have the info booth. We are gonna want that one somewhere, right there, and maybe even one right there because it looks cool. Uh, chessboard, we'll put it right over here at the end. That terrain, man, that's, that's pretty darn wonky. All right, how about... Doesn't look too bad there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... I'm gonna level this out just a little bit over here on this side to kind of give us a little bit more room to to play with and then we'll we'll smoothen this out a little bit later maybe even adjust this road who knows but let's see so those are the piers then we have these uh gazebos that we can easily place over here there's one two right there kind of okay uh, we have the, the climbing frame. Put one of them. Kind of like right there. I have the trampoline park. I'm going to, I'm going to run an additional. Okay. It doesn't look too bad there. We'll do something like that. Maybe even connect that right there so we were at the climbing frame after climbing frame we had the trampoline park trampoline park we can put right there what's kind of cool about these is they have different colors so if you put two and two or if you put uh, if you put them kind of close together they, they look a little bit different even though it's the same exact thing and more detail, I guess I'll just I'll I'll put in in between episodes and kind of you know make it look a little bit uh, a little bit nicer. But we have it there. It is we have the 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 main city park with some of these little um, water uh, parks, I guess features if you wanna if you wanna call them that. Some folks are are coming around. Should be a nice little addition to to this side of the city. Let's uh, let's come over here. And we will get this leisure area up and uh, up and running. And I'm gonna want it to come all the way down to where the park is. There we go. How's our uh, tourism doing? Wow, that filled in. That filled in. It's almost. It's almost like 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 it's a little too much. But we'll keep it. it it works like a little tourism section. I think a little bit more decor over here would would certainly help the the appeal, but not bad, not bad. Like a little section for for where you can just come and stay on on the river, really close to the airport, which is which is really good too. Yeah, Adventureland over here is doing okay. We have three stars. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, let's go ahead and uh, since we have that pretty gnarly demand for um, commercial, we'll go ahead and zone all of this right here with a leisure. So we'll come to right about there. Residentials off the uh, off the charts again. So we'll zone this whole area 
over here. By the way, I did start a little bit in, in that little break that I took kind of, uh, kind of right here. And looks like some of these folks don't even have water. That is not good. There we go. So they should get, get water now. There we go. And let's go ahead and zone this portion over here too. I'm going to be daring and put a, uh, a little commercial uh, spot right there. Well, let's see, is anybody walking here? A couple of folks are going back and forth. Not a whole lot are, are using this pathway over here. So hopefully that, uh, that will see more, uh, see more use. And then over here, I thought maybe we can do some high density residential in the European style. So let's, let's try it out. Let's do this whole area right over here and kind of see what, uh, what comes of it and see if we're gonna, I'm pretty sure we are going to have to do some power transfer. And we're going to use our little trick with, with these and we'll put you there and you there. And that should give us power on both ends. Once something decides to, Oh no, it won't look at that. Okay. So maybe we put you a little bit closer. That's good. And there we go. Looks like we. We're having our very first high density building zone over here on, on this side. So we'll, we'll let that come in kind of let that uh, residential demand go down a little bit. We're pushing almost 80,000 in, uh, in population. And we're at, uh, 1098 on this one. So it's not growing by much, uh, 2173. So the trade school, definitely the most popular campus in, uh, in the whole city, almost at 1800 on, on this one, but I think we'll get there. I have a, I have faith. I most definitely do. And we should be getting the, uh, the, the fire helicopter depot coming down here and Kind of clearing out that fire. It's a little bit there. There. That's what we could do over here. We could put in all of the uh, the fire helicopter or the the helicopter depots. Kind of a uh, kind of here. Let's let's see let's see how that would uh, that would look. There we go. So that's the medical helicopter. Put that one there. Okay, that should uh, that should work. We can can put the can we put another one here? I think we should be able to. If we move that out of the way. There we go. I think that should be good enough right there. We'll go ahead and we'll put this back over here just so it doesn't <laughs> offset really anything. And lastly, we have the police and police. We'll put it right, uh, right next to this one over here. I know this doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I'm going to do a couple of commercial buildings here just to see what it's going to look like. Cause it might look cool. You never know that, and it'll get some, uh, get some cars coming out this way as well. So we'll let, we'll let that come in and, uh, see kind of where it goes, but, uh, we're over 79,000 in population right now. Traffic still jumping between 89 and, uh, and the 90 Our metros. I wanted to take a look at those as well. So, 
the last line we put in, I believe, is, yeah, this one over here, 550 passengers. So that's doing uh, pretty darn good. Then we have the, the short one, that's this one from here, that connects the, uh, the university. And I did this one this way, so folks from this side of the city can come over to the, the university university and uh, come down this way. So not a whole lot of, uh, not a whole lot of traction there. Maybe if we, what if we take, just kind of try and get some more folks over there. If we run, I'm going to have to mess with hiding some of these ones, aren't I? So we'll hide, we'll hide the green one. I don't want I know there's a way to hide a line. I just forgot exactly how how you do it. Uh, oh, show and hide. Okay, so you just push uh, push Y. So we'll hide that one. And then we're gonna come and we'll grab the purple one. We'll add a stop over there, and then it'll come back down this way i believe and yeah yeah so we'll see we'll see if that uh if that's gonna help us out maybe a little bit and trying to get some more uh, more folks going out that way and we're gonna go and unhide the green one so we don't forget a little bit of traffic happening over here <clears throat> But I think that'll just uh, sort itself uh, itself out. Man, that residential demand is is just really skyrocketing. It's not a bad thing though, because that'll bring people into the the city, who will then want to go uh, go to our universities. So we'll zone that much right there. We should be good. 87 on traffic right now. So a little bit of congestion happening here and there. Maybe a little bit here as well. But overall, everything is is moving. That's the important part. Then we were back to 90% there. Oh, come on. All right, I am going to do that. And there we go. I think we're I think we're good. But check it out, guys. Uh, almost at 80,000. Little city park doing just a okay. Over here, low density is is coming in the, the near future. And I think once we get this filled in over here and this built, which I'll, I'll probably do in between episodes is kind of connect this over here. Um, at that point, it's just managing the city properly to, to, to get all of the universities to remain at a level five and I think we'll, uh, we'll get there. And man, I just realized this is going to be one long episode. So yeah, approaching almost 40 minutes. And before I put all you guys to sleep, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the episode here. We'll come back in the next one and see what else we can uh, we can do. As you guys already know, this series is sponsored by Paradox Interactive, who at the end of the series will provide six keys for me to give out to you guys. So make sure you like the video, comment down below, let me know which DLC you're missing and what platform you are on. Once again, happy Thanksgiving to every one of you guys. Go and spend some money, get some uh, get some good deals on some stuff. It's Black Friday, as I mentioned today, and Cyber Monday coming up on, on Monday too. And as always, be the best that you can be in everything that you do. And I'll see you guys on the next one.